it's Thursday. Uh, go to my doctor tomorrow. I should be released okay, ready to hit the road. The heart doctor told me everything looked good. I just wanted a second opinion through my doctor, which is okay. Uh, no big deal. I still have occasional chest pains, but they said my heart is good, so um, I'm, I'm going with that. I <laughs> am here at um, a park that's a disc, a frisbee disc park. Kind of cool watching people play. Uh, it's not my cup of tea, but it's sure fun to watch. And it's uh, fairly quiet here, so I get in a lot of walking, and I um, I like that. I wanted to just uh, do a quick uh, video of my van. I'm not going to show the trunk area because uh, my uh, cooling box I haven't done yet, and I really want to organize the trunk area. I did start on the seat. Um, now, of course, I want to raise it two inches, but I had a stand where my fridge sat on that I built. I took that apart and made a platform uh, for my seat, and that is very comfortable, other than I'd like it to sit up about two more inches. So um, what's nice is I could fold, and I'll show that, fold down the back of it. Uh, it's just a piece of foam covered. And behind that, um, I still have my storage, which is really great. I actually have so much more room in here. Uh, I'm, I'm really happy, and it's a work in progress, but gosh, I've been in a six and a half years, and um, like my bed the way it is now, which I'll show that as well. I've had it somewhat like that before, but I modified it, so it works with my arthritic, is that how you say it? Off. I have arthritis in my knee, so I have to, that has to set a certain way, so um, anyway, I did forget, except the very last minute when I was tearing apart my van, you'll see what it looked like prior, it was just a hot mess, there was just, I like to be um, organized, I even when I lived in a sticks and bricks, I was so anal about um I wanted everything to have a place. I like. I've always liked a clean home. If someone doesn't like that, that's fine. But for myself, that's something I've always liked. So this is really working for me, and uh, I'm I'm happy. But anyway, this is uh, going to be part of it, and then hopefully over the weekend I'll get my cooling box done. I'm going to make a video of that and um, show you exactly what's going on in my home and prayerfully uh, I'll be back out um, on the road but I have met some really amazing people you know it got it, there's not a shortage of people that love the Lord and people that feel the Lord has forgotten them and then you start talking to them and they realize oh he never left me I left him there's never a shortage of those people so I'm just excited that no matter where I'm at God uses me it's a good thing. All right. Well, I'm going to get this taken care of. And uh, I was like, what is that? So I must have got hit with the Frisbee. Anyway, God bless. And I'll be talking to you in a bit. Bye. I forgot to take a video prior to doing this. But isn't that a mess? It's going to be completely different. Cot's going bye-bye. Anyway. So... Found me a little nook in the in the park, and here I am, super early. Other than other van lifers here, there's no one here. Okay. Okay, let's try to give this a go. Um, I want to start off by my rugs. I love my rugs. I just recycle um, sheets and crocheted them into rugs. They're so great. They're durable. They're easy to launder. Um, I have a carpet underneath this blanket. Uh, I love Minnie Van Lee. I don't know if you've ever watched her channel, but she has blankets. It's so much easier. You just pull it up and you could just wash them. And it gives you that added insulation. Back up a little bit. And of course, that's a side table slash sitting stool slash emergency. Have to go to the restroom. Ha! <laughs> And here I have um, 
well, I'm crocheting. I love to crochet. My grandma taught me how to sew and crochet. So I saw on Lava, L-A-V-A, Lindsay Adventures, her channel. She's really awesome as well. I was watching one of her videos the other day, and it showed these crocheted curtains she made, which I'm going to put over my shears when I open my door to keep mosquitoes out. And, of course, there's my two little plastic dressers. You know, I keep saying I, I want something else, but there's nothing wrong with these, so I'm going to use them. The only thing I, when I travel, of course, everything is put, you know, locked down, so I don't worry about things flying in case there's a wreck, is um, I do put my jackery. I have two jackeries, and um, I do put them down on the floor. So this is my bed. Behind the pillows, I have like a backboard, so it gives me the separation to my garage area, but um, I won't be sharing the garage area just yet. But on my bed, I have layers and layers of blankets. I have little tacky things that I used um, Velcro to put on the bed skirt that I made out of the remaining leftover um, sheets that I had from... That's right, my rugs. Love it. Okay, this is where it does get to be a hot mess. I do need to organize it better, but you know, it's where I keep my medicine and my tennis shoes and a bunch of my writing stuff. Over here, I have, you know, my toiletries, the box next to it. I keep propane, not propane, but um, butane and a bunch of odds and ends. And then there's just massive storage in the back. And my laptop goes right there in the corner, so it's hidden and it's out of the way. Now this bed is so comfortable. Let me move over inside now. It is very comfortable. When it's time for me to lie down, my head is always on the passenger side. And I have about a half inch after I stretch out, but because of my right leg, I have a special pillow that I set right here, and of course that's gone, and so that I'm able to stretch it out the proper way. And then, I, you know, I keep, and here's my clothing, and then I have, you know, miscellaneous toiletries in one of them. I have an extra Bible, and this cute little purse is my extra cords for my charger. Now, I do have the seat out from here. I just have got to figure out um, how to make a lid. So right now, I just have a piece of wood covering it so I could have it for storage. And there's my other jackery, and I just set stuff on that seat when I'm not moving. But this is what I was talking about. I haven't sewn anything because this isn't going to be how the final piece is. But So I keep... You know, I only have one pan and one little pot, and I keep miscellaneous, you know, cooking things in there. But this has, uh, well, it was for my refrigerator, and it was a stand, and it was a two double decker, whatever, and my refrigerator sat on it. So I took it all apart, and I took the pieces that were the, I think it was a two by four or four by four. Um, and I just used it underneath for the legs of that. And it, it works great. I absolutely love this. I know this is really bad filming, but uh, this is what I got to work with today. So for now that works. You know, I have my cup of coffee, and again, that jackery gets uh, locked down when, when I'm in transit. But let me tell you, it has been so nice not stressing over using up my energy off my jackeries just to keep creamer cold. So I just bought the individual ones and the powder. And to be honest, I really would like to wean myself off of that. Just makes it that much more healthier for myself because I, I really do want to be healthier. But yeah, this is my home, my home, my home, my forever home, you know, at least my for now home. 
So I do have to find a home for my tools that are on the side there. But I gotta get a container. I refuse to spend money on anything else, so. Anyway, that is it. Hope I didn't confuse you all, but I love my home. God bless. Talk to you soon. Bye. A couple things I forgot to say. My bed measures 40 inches wide, which is just nice because <laughs> it gives you that extra room. And um, when I said about the seats removed, all of my seats are out except for the driver's side. Well, I was talking about the passenger um, second row seat. That one is where I have a board over it for right now because I need to figure out how to make a top for that and then I can use that for storage. Um, I at one time thought, man, I can make me just a perfect cold storage box out of that. But then it would mean I have to remove my rugs and the blanket and all that. I'd rather put like extra toilet tissue and things, extra stuff in there. So that's um, what I'm going to use that for. So I did forget to say that. And, oh, and I already told you about my bed. It is 40 inches. That made all the difference in the world. And I love Home Depot because um, I had the wood that I had on my floor. I um, actually traded that for a piece of uh, plywood and I had no idea where it was purchased from. But I went to Home Depot and they were so cool. They cut it at no charge for me into the three pieces that I needed. And um, now I don't know if they all do that, but I tell you, they, they were really great. And I, I was honest with them, you know, because the wood that I traded, I did buy there, but it's that press board, something like that chipboard. Um, and I did, and I had the receipt. But I told them that I traded it for, because I needed actually three quarters inch plywood. I think that's what that is. Something like that. I don't know. Anyway, that, but I already had like um, the two by fours. I just held on to them babies because, you know, I had my bed like this one time, but it was like only 30 inches wide. It was just miserable and it wasn't even and my floor wasn't even and now all that's taken care of. So anyway, okay, that's it. Just wanted to um, add those little pieces. God bless you. I just pray that you have an amazing upcoming weekend. Remember, God loves you right where you're at. I appreciate you. Thank you to the new subscribers. Yeah, God is good. This is good. I love my van. Anyway, talk to y'all soon. Bye.